Here's tonight, it's one of the rules of life that people like old things until there's something new that comes along. But after a while, they get tired of the new and want to go back to the comfort of the old. That cycle will never change, and it's part of what drives a business in Buxton, a business that is a cooperage. If you've never heard of a cooperage, well, that's where the old part of this story comes in. When people go by this building and see what's outside, they are understandably curious. Every day we have people from in Buxton that drive by here every day wondering what we're doing to people from out of state coming in and people in Canada even. The barrels. We're not in the 1870s, so what's with all the barrels? This is River Drive Cooperage and Millwork. It does not manufacture barrels, but it does repair and recondition them. That's what a cooperage does, makes and or fixes wooden barrels. It's very rewarding. And you know, when you tell someone you're a cooper and they have no idea what it is, it's, it's a very cool feeling. <laughs> If you think this business is a cute little exercise in nostalgia, wrong. River Drive will move about 15 to 20,000 barrels this year, volume way beyond what founder Matt Albrecht ever imagined. I started this in my garage, um, you know, messing around, uh, shooing my dog away from drinking the, the stuff leaking out of the barrels. <laughs> River Drive's business has doubled every year for five years. That is growth any tech company would envy. And much of it comes from another industry that has seen explosive growth, craft brewing. Talk to any of these breweries, and they're busy. They don't have time. They don't have time to deal with fixing barrels, or some maybe not ha might not have the, the know-how. The breweries want barrels that were used to age bourbon and rum and scotch. The flavors from those spirits soaked into the barrels, and when they're reconditioned, those barrels will in turn create beers with a distinctive taste that can't be faked. River Drive has a competitive edge because it can speed up the process that infuses flavors into the barrels. The barrels have quality, consistency, and a pedigree. Because the breweries aren't focused on the new bar barrels. They want the used barrels. They want those barrels that are with the history, with the story behind them. Matt Albrecht buys barrels from all over the world, from small wineries and distilleries you've never heard of, and from huge ones that are global brands, such as Jim Beam and Jack Daniels. He reconditions and resells the barrels, mainly to breweries, wineries, and distilleries, but really to anyone who wants them. We just shipped a dozen barrels to a farm in New Hampshire uh, that they're making sauerkraut in. Um, we ship barrels to vinegar makers, maple syrup producers. Albrecht had no idea he would end up running an international business when, in his early 20s, he started salvaging sunken logs in rivers around the state. Along the way, acquired the planks from the bleachers at Fitzpatrick Stadium in Portland when it was being renovated. So I bought a bunch of those and I built this pontoon boat out of the old Fitzpatrick Stadium and then put the sewn side scan sonar on it, put underwater cameras on it, put a winch with a, a log grapple on it and, and went out. And, and then from there, it was like a, a, the claw game. It was like the claw game you play at the arcade. That timber salvage business evolved into this, a company that repairs and repurposes barrels, but also turns them into maps, cribbage boards, and warehouse. flags. And then the red wine that was in the barrel is actually stained the wood red. And here's another product line you probably wouldn't expect, flooring, made, of course, from barrels. I believe the most far-flung place that you have sent flooring to is Dubai. Correct. That order came from a restaurant in the desert metropolis, not a place where you'd expect a decor made from wooden barrels from Maine. I thought it was a scam. I thought it was my, my Nigerian prince uncle that died and had millions of dollars to give me. River Drive has 10 employees, and every one of them had to learn on the job. When you arrived, when you came in for the first day of work, how much did you know about working with barrels? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> I really didn't know anything about barrels. With demand for its products rising, the future looks bright for River Drive, especially in countries outside the U.S., which already account for one-third of sales. 
And remember the mention of the dog that drank the stuff leaking out of the barrels back when this was a one-man operation run out of a garage? That dog's still around, now elevated to a supervisory position which calls for him to keep an eye on things. He does it with authority. Now, we shot that story a while back, and the business has just kept expanding. River Drive now uses old gin and tequila barrels, which provide a new array of flavors for brewers or whoever wants them. What an entrepreneur. I love that story. Yeah, we've got more information on the business, and you'll find that on our website or mobile app, newcentermain.com.